Well, my name is Bill Hahn. I'm a senior associate member of the Broad Institute and a faculty member at the Dana Farber Cancer Institute. We were really interested in trying to understand the beta catenin pathway in greater detail because it was so central to colon and other cancers. And although we have a very good broad outline of how the pathway works, um, there's been evidence that suggests that there are other ways that the pathway is regulated. And also, um, to date, it's been very difficult and challenging to target any of the known components of the pathway um, as therapeutic avenues. Um, and, and it's a sort of a disconnect between because the pathway is so important for colon cancers, and yet we have no directed way of, of intervening in this pathway. So these studies allowed us to look at beta-catenin, which we thought was um, had a single partner that was important in colon cancer, and it turns out that it has multiple partners, and that it's these interactions with multiple partners that are important for its multifaceted function. This work really takes advantage of genome scale science um, in multiple forms. Um, there was uh, a big component of Project Achilles, which is a loss of function interrogation of many hundreds of cell lines. Um, the cell lines have been well characterized by the cell line encyclopedia effort led by Levi Garraway. And all of it is tied together with the cancer genome characterization efforts um, that have been led by the Broad Sequencing Center um, as part of national and international efforts. And it's really putting all of that data together that allows us to um, interrogate relationships not only in an unbiased way, but also to understand what context the things that we're finding are important in. And um, so rather than just coming up with lists of genes, which is often the case in genome studies, we've really been able to uh, very quickly link those lists to functions and connections um, that make sense. And then we can test them um, experimentally. So one of the great things about this work is that we were able to work with many people at the Broad and affiliated institutions in Boston. We worked with people who study cancer genomes. We worked with people who have zebrafish models of the, of the um, pathways that we're interested in. And uh, we worked with people who have deep expertise in the, in the particular cancer, in this case colon cancer, and really allowing us seamlessly to, to move between these different groups, um, no matter where they were located in town, was really a, a special part of this project. I grew up, like most biologists, thinking that we could draw pathways as linear um, diagrams of one molecule going to the next molecule going to the next molecule. But in fact, what's happening is that there are networks that operate and, and that most components of these pathways talk to two or three molecules at the same time. And um, so as we learn about the complexity using um, unbiased approaches, we're able to model a network of what's really going on. And I think that will allow us to better understand how the biology works. Um, and in the end, uh, not only will we understand how colon cancer starts better, but it'll allow us to make um, more rational decisions about how we're going to intervene on the pathway therapeutically.